inside of the namespace algo is a bunch of helper functions that allow you to manipulate containers and iterators. So to test out these functions, we're going to create an array, a T array of strings. So we have a strings array. We're going to add the first string to this, which is just all lowercase first. We're going to add a, another string, which is capitalized second. And then finally, we're going to add a third element called third, where we have mixed capitalization and lowercase in some places. So you can see our string array here is first, second, third, with the difference in capitalizations. The first function is the algo index of, which allows you to search the container for an index. So here's our strings array. What we want to find is the thing that matches second. If it finds it, it will return a valid index. So it found that the index one contains our string second. If it doesn't find it, it will return index none. So you can check if the found index is not index none, then you can report the found index and access that memory. And so if it's not index none, you can access that memory by the index. There is also an index of by predicate, so you can do custom logic to determine the index. So say we didn't actually care about the capitalization, we can write a predicate here, and the predicate is just a lambda in this case, or a function, but we'll define a lambda, and we'll say for each argument, we're going to lowercase the argument and see if it matches third. So while this isn't very great for performance, and that we're making strings and all that, it's just a way to demonstrate using a predicate within the algo namespace. So we're going to look for third, and we're going to ignore case because we're lowercasing everything. And so did we find index? Yes, at index two, we found that we have what we cared about, which was third. And as you can see, it's not spelled like this. And that is an example of how you use a predicate. And so with that index, we access the array. And we can see that the array wasn't changed. It's still third, spelled in a weird capitalization way. And we can lock that. There's also algo transform, which allows us to transform a array or other iterator. So I'm going to create a T array to store the transform strings in. So T array of, of string. And right now you can see there is nothing in that. It is empty. So we'll call algo transform and we'll provide it the strings array that has all the weird capitalizations and then the output array. And we'll provide it with a lambda to do the transformation. And for each element in our original array, we will capitalize it. After we call transform, our strings are now all the strings from the first one, but they've been capitalized. And so we can forward each other that and log it. So the thing to note about transform is that it left the original array intact and it outputted to a new array. There is also an algo reverse, which doesn't in place reverse. So we have our transform strings. It goes first, then second, then third. And if we call reverse, we can now inspect it and see that it is third, then second, then first. So it in place reversed our container. So I'll let the debugger run to the new array. So I ran our debugger here. We can also use algo sort. So what we'll do is we'll create a T array of integers and we'll add some numbers to that. Now notice the T array has one and then a negative two and three and then negative four. So these are not sorted. They're sorted if you were to absolute value them all, but we have a positive and a negative and a positive and a negative. And so we can call algo sort with no additional arguments. And if we look at the results now, it goes negative, negative, positive, positive. So it sorted them properly. The algo methods have a concept of a projection, and a projection is kind of like a transformation before the value is considered. So for our sort, we can do a sort by, and we'll provide it with our array, which is currently sorted, but we'll provide it with a custom projection. And in this projection, what we will do is we define a lambda that takes each value that we want to project to a new value, and we're going to convert that value to an absolute value. So all of the negative values in our array, so this negative four, negative two, we're going to absolute value them before we do the sort. So we're going to run the projection and then we're going to do the sort on each element. So if we call sort by, we can see that before the sort, two negatives are positive. After the sort, we have positive, negative, positive, negative. And that's because we sorted by the absolute value using the projection. Algo also has a for each, so we can iterate over this. It is just like using a regular for each, uh, but it does that kind of functionally. And I don't really prefer it because as you saw, I just stepped over it and I wasn't able to step through each of the for each without putting a breakpoint there. But that's a minor criticism at the end. And we can see from the log that it printed them in order. We can actually change the sorting behavior by defining a predicate for the sort. So what we'll do now is we'll sort where 
a is greater than b instead of a being less than b. And so the predicate just takes the first value and the second value. And we can call the sort by. So we can look here that we go, so we can see here that the current values are 1, negative 2, 3, negative 4. And we still need to provide a projection, so I'm going to absolute value these again. But after the projection, you can set the sort predicate. So that's this lambda here. And you can see the state before the sort with the reverse sort. And then after, you can see that now it goes from 4 down to 1. So it was reverse sorted after these have been absolute valued from the projection. And so you can customize your sorting that way. And that is the end of the short video on Algo. You can text search the provided source code and find lots of examples of people using Algo in the engine. And for the video above, you need to include these files, the Algo slash for each, Algo slash accumulate, and Algo slash index of.